Hi guys, welcome to our Facebook Live. I am Amanda Hand, I am one of the agent partners here at Bell Real Estate Group and I am so, so, so excited to introduce you to one of the people that we have behind the scenes. I know my clients hear about her all the time. This is Lacey from Southern Image Photography. Hi there, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. No, I'm really excited to have you here today. We always talk about you, so it's really great to bring you in, <laughs> talk about what you do. Um, today we're actually gonna cover a few topics. We have different things about professional photography that we want to talk about, but keep in mind, if you have specific questions you want to ask, go ahead and put them in the chat. We are more than happy to go ahead and answer those now in addition to what we had planned. Before we get started though, I wanna hear about you. How did you get into this business? How have you grown it to where it is now? So I started this, well, so, okay. I started real estate photography, I wanna say, four years ago, something like that. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's been a minute. So I did, uh, I worked under a company um, down in Savannah and they taught me so much. I loved being there. Um, but then I found my life moving up this way. So I started my own, um, I guess it's been about two years ago. Okay. Savannah. And that's about yep. close y'all to were, the time when we met Y'all you. were basically one of my first ones. So. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are definitely happy to have yes, you here. No, I am so happy you guys. <laughs> Well, good. So how did you take it from just learning how to do photography to actually like full everything that you do? Um, so basically photography is the main goal. Um, and then I have always loved photography. So I have known a little bit about like the business aspect of it, of like delivering photos, um, talking to people, getting new clients. Um, and so I guess my main thing would be, be Instagram <laughs> yes. is how is exactly how that I got here. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, that's the biggest thing. Um, but yeah, so I have just I just kind of jumped in moving up here and starting it myself, um, and just kind of taking what I learned down there and how it's not an easy job. It's really not easy. I am almost never home. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. At least so. you do get to see a lot of really cool things, though. Yes. Um, I do want to ask you a few questions about mm -hmm. professional real estate photography because we we know that it is so important and it is such a crucial step for our clients, but mm -hmm. I want to dive a little bit deeper into that with you, okay? Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's go ahead and talk about why does it truly matter? Why does it make such a big difference when listing your home? Yeah, so that's actually my favorite question. Um, I... So that's kind of actually goes into why I started doing real estate photography anyways, is I just think it's the most important thing when you sell a home or when you buy a home. Cause my family, we moved around for basically my entire childhood. And so we were always looking for houses and we would look at the ones that were like nicer online, because if it looks good, you're going to want to go. Um, and so basically, the easiest way to answer why it's important is because it's the first thing that people see and if you if you show that you care about the house other people are going to care about the house so that's true um we don't always talk about it that way but it is the very first impression that people get when they view a home and if the photos are just showing one portion of a room and not the entire room people can't envision themselves there yeah. no because I mean, if it's like a little iPhone photo and it's like this big, you're not going to see all the, the thumb space in it. around there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the thumb in it or the agents in the mirror. You can see their face like this. So, right. Yeah. No, no I, I completely agree. And it definitely helps sellers, you know, because they they want to be able to reach as many people as possible. And you're able to do that when you have such great photos. Mm -hmm. um, so what exactly do you do when you get there? Walk me through what happens when you show up at the home. Because I know a lot of people maybe have never sold a home before and they really don't know what to expect. Yeah, I usually, uh, first thing I do, I find myself um, is asking, are we ready for photos? And they say, no, but let's do it anyways. <laughs> um, and so we just kind of walk through the house, make sure like all the lights are on, the fans are off, and then the windows are open. Those are the main features that I'm looking for, but then also we'll go through and see if we need to like move anything or if there's a room that we don't really want to shoot. Uh, but for the most part, I'll shoot them anyways, just in case you guys ask for them. Um, and so we'll just kind of make sure that everything is ready. And for the most part, it is. So. Now, I will say, I've been there quite a few times with her, and I love how she always parks away from the home because she does something else special. 
I do the drone. <laughs> she does, and I love it so much. I love flying that drone. It's honestly my favorite part about the job, because um, technically I get to say that I am a pilot. It's yes. an unmanned aircraft, but still, I am a pilot. Um, and so, yeah, any cars that are in the way, uh, we usually try to get them moved, um, and then we'll put dogs inside. I find that's a lot better, because if not, then they're just freaking out in the backyard. So, a little bit. Yes. A little bit. Um, but yeah, no, drone is definitely my favorite part because it will show not only the house, which is what people are looking for, but it's also going to show everything else around. And so a lot of times maybe people don't think, oh, this is my dream home, but three doors down is a crap The pile. lake or, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or a dog park, yes. which is so important yeah. for some people, or a playground. Yeah. Or even like the city's just a couple blocks down. Yeah, like so. people can actually see that. Oh, I can go to dinner and I can walk there. That mm -hmm. sounds amazing. And and I do love that. Yeah, I actually just shot uh, one house for you guys or an apartment or something. And I didn't realize that Stone Mountain was literally right behind it until I flew the drone up. And I was like, I am absolutely oh, getting this shot. It was fantastic. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it, it shows the area, but also the the house at its best because when you take a picture of a person you're wanting face on and so when you're taking a picture of a house you're wanting it face on and the drone is able to get it's usually about 50 feet is like the prime shot well, and especially now um i know obviously since covid more people do spend more time in their home so their home and the space around it has become way more important to them than it has been in the past so having those drone shots really lets people know that that's going to be a space for them mm -hmm. for sure and sometimes it's the only time that people get to fly a drone so they usually like it when i let them don't that's tell anybody <laughs> <laughs> but that's totally okay <laughs> and i will say too there are some properties that you know maybe we list where the interior pictures aren't nearly as important because mm -hmm. it may be a flip mm -hmm. and we really rely very heavily on your drone shots that is true. for that yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah i've done a couple of those where um, we'll just get some stuff outside and then a couple inside that just isn't the best. It's not what's going to sell but the house. But people are still going to get it or at least go and have interest in it because the drone is showing everything else. It's showing the potential. Yeah. yeah. Now let's start moving inside the house a little yes. bit. What do you think about staging? Where, like, where do you side with that with virtual staging or how do you want a home staged mm -hmm. so that it photographs mm -hmm. to its best potential? The, so staging is very, very important because you're wanting to show your house at its best and you're wanting to show it at its most comfortable as well. And so if you've got a bunch of just stuff on the table and a bunch of stuff on the walls and just everything's everywhere, it's not going to show, number one, the size of the house is going to look smaller, but then it's also people are going to see your stuff and they're not going to see their stuff. And so that's what people are usually envisioning when they are trying to buy a house is what is my life going to look like here. And so if you've got minimal amount of stuff, it's best or even um, so with virtual staging, I really do like that for vacant houses because you can see the house as it is, but being empty, you're not entirely sure how everything's going to fit in there. And so if you've got something simple like a bed, a TV, and then maybe like an end table, then they're able to see, oh, this is potentially how my stuff is going to look. Right. So, or for someone who's selling their house on the flip side of that, you know, we, we did this one house and the majority of the house was staged really well, but there was nothing in this gorgeous dining room. It was just completely open. Mm -hmm. So we asked for you to have that virtually mm -hmm. staged so that people could see the potential that it was a 12 person sitting room because you don't know if you can't see it. Exactly. And then it, the photo kind of matched everything else because it wasn't just a completely bare room. So. Right. No, and you do a really good job about that, about making sure that everything's as cohesive as possible. Definitely. Um, but in addition to that, what she does so special, once the house is staged, she has the photo, she's done the drone, she goes back in one more time on the inside of the house. And this is my personal favorite part just because I love Instagram and Facebook so much and that way we can show you and reach the most amount of possible. She actually does the videos for us for social media. Yes, that's one of my favorite parts as well <laughs> because I'm learning a lot about it um, and so after taking the photos I can kind of see what parts of the house I think are really going to sell it and so it's usually going to be the living room the kitchen and the master bedroom I'll make sure that I go through just kind of get a few walkthrough videos and then piece them all together no and I love it so much and then I take that as a challenge and I know Heather our marketing director does as well we actually um, 
go through there and we try to find the audio that's going to match and make the most sense and go with the transition. So it's really fun to be able to put that out for all of you guys. And it's how we actually get a lot of views for the homes that we do sell. So that is wonderful. Now, um, I want you to tell me about lighting because lighting is so important. I know we touched on it briefly, but it is, it really is crucial because I get compliments for you all the time. My clients are always oh, telling me how you. much they love that you show the house the way it is, but literally in its best light. And mm -hmm. they are always so thrilled. So how do you achieve that? I love hearing that. Um, so that is my main goal of my entire thing is making sure that the house looks exactly as it is, but at its best. Um, and so with lighting, Professional photographers do several different ways. I like the easiest and simplest setup, basically my camera and my tripod, and I walk around to the rooms. Um, like I was saying, I was making sure all the lights are on. Even if the lights don't work, so if I'm in a vacant house that doesn't have any power, that's no problem. Um, I will do what is called um, HDR bracketing, and I'm trying not to get too no, technical. No, you can go nerdy on this, it's <laughs> okay. okay. Um, and so we will take five, or the camera will take five different brackets at all different lighting. And so we'll get the darkness of being able to see out the window. We will get the um, basically mid light, which is how we'll see the house or like the room as it is, but then also overexposed. And then in between is just helping the editors. Um, and so with lighting that, in my opinion is the easiest because it's seeing the house at several different lights to be able to um, brush in the lighting in the editing process um, but I know other people will have these like big light setups and they'll put them in each room and that takes a long time but it does look really good they'll take like one single shot and that looks good other people we use flash and just basically flash around and do the same thing with painting it in um, but yeah, so lighting is very important. Um, you don't have to do too much except have your lights on, and that's always best. So okay, yeah. When, sorry, when you talked about um, having like the big light setups, it just reminded me of when you used to go get pictures at J.C. Penney's, yep. and they had like the really. Is that kind of like that's what yeah, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> that's what some some people will do. Um, when I worked down in Savannah, they were trying to bring that in. I was like, I don't think that's a good idea, mostly because some of these houses are too small for that anyways. Um, but yeah, it just, I find that it's the simplest, easiest, and I love the way that the photos turn out, the way that we do it. So it's basically the natural lighting and then my editors are magic. They go through and they fix everything, so. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah. No, I, we certainly love the pictures that we get back, and we love that we actually get them next day as well, which is a huge benefit for using a professional. You don't have to worry about doing all the editing yourself. You don't have to worry about where, where do I crop. All the images are going to be the same size. I mean, it's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is definitely uh, one thing that I love about my job is I'm able to help your life <laughs> a lot better a lot. because I will just take the hour to go do the shots, and then you can go talk to your people and do what you need to. Um, so, yeah. And I do, I love how I get my photos back the next day. So I started editing them when I first started the business up here, but I found that it just made a lot more sense and it was a lot more just like a peace of mind that I would absolutely get them the next day. Everything would be fine if I sent them off to, uh, that's their job. So like I take the photos, they edit the photos, I get them back to you. So Well, and it works pretty way. seamlessly too. Yes. Um, no, we, we certainly love that. We love getting the back next day and being able to share them and just kind of piece through and see what's going to make sense. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I personally think that was very helpful. I actually learned a few things today and I come hang out with you sometimes. I, <laughs> I love that I was able to get, you know, a little bit more knowledge and I can't wait to do this again with you. Um, we, we really do appreciate you taking your time out today to come and talk to not only me, but everyone out there who's going to be able to look at this. And as we get questions, you know, we're going to make sure that we send them to you and we can help everyone yes. appropriately. Absolutely. Um, but if, you know, if you guys know of anyone who has more questions about listing your home, what photographer to use, like what types of photos you use here at Bell Real Estate Group and Lacey with Southern Image Photography, we are more than happy, happy to help and answer all of your questions, get you going, no matter what stage you are in the process, we are always here to help. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. It was great. <laughs>